Alright guys, Broccoli Rob here. And today I decided to make some ribeyes. As far as I'm concerned, the only vegetable that goes with ribeyes is cream spinach. So here we go. In a pot of boiling water. It's a process. It takes a little time, but it's, it, it's all good. A little salt. This is roughly two pounds of spinach with all the tough ends removed. That's that's the tedious part. That's the part my wife did. Tedious for tea. <laughs> or tea for tedious. And we're going to try and get all the spinach into here. It will melt down, melt down, shrink down. Oh, so that's all I had to do was jump in a pot of boiling water and shrink down. Does that go along with your resting chicken? <laughs> Were they on a break? Yeah, they're on a break. All right, guys, we're going to blanch this down for about two minutes. Throw it into a colander, wait for it to cool. And we're going to have to squeeze all the water out of it. Now you saw how much went in there. Wait till you see how much comes out. It's like I said, we're going to blanch it for about two minutes into a colander, and then we're going to squeeze all the liquid out of it. Crockley rub it. Cream spinach. You saw how much went into the pot. <laughs> That's what came out. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. Now we got to squeeze. Once it's all cool, we just got to squeeze as much water out of this as possible. And there's a lot of water. Oops. Ah, I still get the idea. Another way you could you could do this is with a towel. Put this inside the towel and twist the towel and get the water out that way. You could do it with the back of a spoon or something and just keep pressing. Okay, that's our initial squeeze. That's the water. Yeah, it's a lot of it. All right, so this is what's left. We'll give it one more little. And we're going to chop it up. Almost looks like grass clippings, doesn't it? Get you in the mood to go out and cut your lawn. Guess you got to go out and shovel your snow first. Okay, there's our spinach. You said a bad word. Which was? Snow. snow. <laughs> I like snow. Medium heat pot. This is heavy cream that you're just going to bring up the heat on and then turn it off. And the reason, where is my little komatsayam that I'm looking for? This is a komatsayam. You're going to bring this up to heat and then you're going to turn the heat off of it. And the reason is, this has got to be warm when it goes into the warm, warm to warm. You can't have cold to warm. You gotta go warm to warm. That's the reason for that. Butter. In a pot. Alright, so there's our butter. Garlic. About 30 seconds or a minute. Then we're going to reduce the heat. Reduce the heat. You put Add the flour. We're going to make a roux. Big fancy cooking term. 
R O U X. Lowered the heat down. We're making our roux. This is hot. Get this off the heat. Couple of minutes with this. All right, so there's our roux. A whole milk. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to use fat-free milk, you could, or skim milk, you could. But this is going to be the base, or part of the base, for our cream spinach. A couple of minutes, you can see it's starting to get thick. Salt, pepper, nutmeg. It's starting to get thick now, which is what you want. Another couple of minutes. Nice. You can see how thick that's getting now. We're going to whisk in our cream. Cheese is nice, what sauce is nice and thick. Swiss cheese, Parmesan cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grass clippings. Yeah, I kid you not. All that spinach you saw before, that's it. That's it right there. It's going to warm this through and it's done. The prepping is a lot harder than the cooking. Alright guys, cream spinach. It's a must. It's a staple if you haven't steak as far as I'm concerned. That and horseradish. And horseradish sauce. We have that already though. Alright guys. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy your steak and your cream spinach. Because I'm going to enjoy mine. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, anything you want me to do for you, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it. Ciao now!